Now we are going to start today. It is about a new phylum, which is phylum Tenophora. So we will start with the name. Why the Tenophora name is uh, has been given to this phylum? Why not any other name? So the reason lies in the figure. See, they have these comb-like structures. See, they are having the comb-like structures, na? Due to the presence of these pores or combs, these pores or combs in them. They are called as tenophores. Okay, so we can write here due to presence of comb. Okay, due to the presence of comb plates. Also, due to the presence of this comb plates, they can also or they are also called as sea walnuts or comb jellies because whenever you will see them, then they are uh, almost transparent. Almost transparent, like likely. This is the original figure. I mean, so they are see they are having palm plates and their structure is what somewhat looking like jelly material. So that is why they are called as what palm plates. And uh, 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 why are they called as sea walnuts or uh, like? Uh, have you seen that uh, amla? So amla has a lining uh, lining like a structure and they are round in shape. So same way you can see in the figure also. They are what like uh, a structure of amla or a structure of walnut. So they are showing through their structures. Body structure is somewhat matching to the walnuts or somewhat matching to the plates which had been formed in their body. That is why they are called as what uh, palm plates or sea walnuts or tenophores. Okay, have any confusion? Why are they being given the name of tenophora or sea walnuts or palm jellies? Yes, Anna. Okay, so as we have studied the whole uh, sequence in phylum Porifera, on also phylum uh, Coelentrata, also. So same sequence here will be going about the habit and habitat level of organization, germ layer, sea lung, body plan, everything. ये जब तक हम phylum Echinodermata and phylum Hemichordata तक नहीं पहुंच जाते हैं, तब तक ये पूरा sequence ऐसे ही चलेगा, okay? So I have written the sequence in advance. So first sequence is what habit and habitat. Where are they living and how are they living? So the most and first important point is that all of the organisms are exclusively marine. First of all, you can write the all are aquatic. All are aquatic. And next point you can write ki all are exclusively marine. Exclusively marine. So earlier in the phylum Tenophora and sorry in the phylum Coelentrata and phylum Porifera, कुछ marine थे, कुछ fresh water forms थे, but each and every organism of Tenophora are marine one. Means they will not be found in fresh water forms. So this one is important point. And they are plan uh, having the planktonic habit. Planktonic habit means do you know what is planktonic habit? Also they are surface water floaters means you can see them floating on the surface of the oceans or marine waters okay so this planktonic habit means what they live on planktons or live on by eating the planktons now what are planktons planktons are the plant materials or <clears throat> the very primitive forms of plants which are found in aquatic uh, environment these are Planktons, okay. So they live on planktons. That why that is why they are being given the name planktonic habits. Understood about their habit and habitat. Now we will move to the level of organization. Just give me a minute, Sana. So where was I? Habit and habitat. I was saying ki jitne hai habit and habitat mein all are aquatic. But here an a special feature or you can say important point is that. कि ईच एंड एवरी ऑर्गेनिजम्स आर एक्सक्लूसिवली मरीन मींस दे विल नॉट बी फाउंड ओवर फ्रेश वाटर फॉर्म्स ओके एंड दे आर सरफेस वाटर फ्लोटर्स मींस यू कैन सी देम फ्लोटिंग ऑन द सरफेस ऑफ ओशियंस ओके एंड आल्सो दे आर प्लैंक्टोनिक हैबिट्स मींस दे लिव ऑन द प्लैंक्टोंस और बाय फीडिंग देम फीडिंग द प्लैंक्टोंस दे गेट देयर न्यूट्रिएंट्स ओके नाउ लेवल ऑफ ऑर्गेनाइजेशन इज व्हाट Uh, in the basis of classification, also we have seen their level of organization is what tissue level, tissue level of organization. 
when i was teaching you the basis of classification i told you na that uh, this uh, phylum tenophora and phylum cilia data will be uh, will go on side by side like uh, best friend or we can say sisters so jitna bhi feature tenophora uh, cilia data ka hai apart from the special feature all the features will be uh, shared by this phylum tenophora also okay now the germ layer germ layer is as in that uh, cilium data also diploblastic here also it will be what diploblastic diploblastic now cilium they are aciliate body plan is what their body plan is blind sac body plan earlier in the phylum porifera what it was what cell aggregate now in the phylum uh, cilium data and dinophora it will be what blind sac body plan blind sac body plan means what only one opening will be there for entry and exit of substances next is symmetry there will be as in the telen tet also radial symmetry was there here also radial symmetry will be there so radial symmetry next is segmentation do you see from the figure any segmentation means any division of body you can find it out yes or no from the figure do you find any uh, partition in the body from the figure you can say sana yes or no no ma'am okay so no therefore सेगमेंटेशन विल बी वॉट एबसेंट एंड नोटो कॉर्ड आई एक्सप्लेन की जितने भी कॉर्ड डेटा से पहले है ऑल विल हैव नो नोटो कॉर्ड सो नोटो कॉर्ड इज ऑल्सो एबसेंट नाउ द पॉइंट ऑफ स्पेशल फीचर वॉट आर देर स्पेशल फीचर सो इन द फाइलम टीनोफोरा वन ऑफ द मोस्ट इम्पॉर्टेंट फीचर इज दैट दे शो प्रॉपर्टी ऑफ बायोल्यूमिनेस दे शो प्रॉपर्टी ऑफ एंड मार्क दिस एज एन इम्पॉर्टेंट क्वेश्चन बायो Luminescence. Do you know what is bioluminescence? Uh, earlier, I think I have explained or not. I don't know. Okay. So, what is bioluminescence? Okay. So, bioluminescence means the property of light emission, or you can say the ability, ability of light emission. Okay. Luminescence means what? Ability of light emission. But bioluminescence include what? organisms means living organism so those living organism whether plants or animals whosoever will be having the property or the ability to emit light from their body they will be called as what bioluminescence ya yeah, bioluminescent organism okay so uh, have you seen this firefly very famous example of this bioluminescence wo raat mein chamakte hai na jo hum log bachpan mein kehte the jugnu jugnu karke have you seen those so they also show what the property of bioluminescence in their body some a special feature and extra characteristics are present which allow them to what emit light in the dark in the figure also you can see they are seen emitting light so they are having the property of what bioluminescence next important feature you can say ki they have they have comb plates because no other phylum can be seen having comb plates and mostly complets are in eight numbers means eight complets are mostly c so these are special features of this phylum and uh, this phylum is actually very small so no need to remember much things about it now we will come about other physiology that is digestion respiration and everything so what is their digestion will be we have seen in the phylum cilium trita so whatever uh, digestion was going on in the phylum cilium trita same the process here digestion will be both intracellular and extracellular and it will be incomplete so you can uh, write it down okay have you seen the pdf of yesterday's lecture sana yes ma'am but read me please okay so ek cheez mind mein ye complete karke bitha lena ki whatever is the feature of cilium trita same will be the feature of tenophora ओके इन दोनों की फीचर्स में कोई डिफरेंस नहीं है जस्ट अपार्ट फ्रॉम देयर स्पेशल फीचर टीनोफोरा का स्पेशल फीचर बायोल्यूमिनेसेंस है एंड फाइलम सीलियन ट्रेटा का स्पेशल फीचर क्या है दे आर फोरल्स एंड दे आर हैविंग एक्स्ट्रा मटेरियल इन देम सो और एक दो तीन और फीचर थे उनके एक्स्ट्रा सो उन दोनों को छोड़ के मीन्स अपार्ट फ्रॉम दिस स्पेशल फीचर ईच एंड एवरी आर सेम सो so, तुम एक फाइलम याद करोगे दूसरा फाइलम तुम्हें ऑलरेडी याद हो जाएगा जस्ट द एग्जाम्पल एंड स्पेशल फीचर यू हैव टू रिमेम्बर ओके नाउ यू एक्सप्लेन मे इंट्रा सेलुलर एक्स्ट्रा सेलुलर आई एक्सप्लेन ना वॉट इज इंट्रा सेलुलर एंड वॉट इज एक्स्ट्रा सेलुलर 
earlier in the phylum porifera it was only intracellular but in sedentary and dinopora it will be both intra and extracellular so explain me respiratory system will be absent but respiration will occur through what respiration occurs via general body surface okay do you remember sana about this intracellular and extracellular digestion or should i explain once again ma'am it was to explain kar okay in yesterday's class also i've explained about this so intracellular and extracellular let me take another slide for this okay here for intracellular digestion the cells are involved like this and if any organism is eating or yeah, engulfing their food particles so each food will come in the cells only this is nucleus so yeah each food material will come in the what cells only now there is no division of labor so each and every cell yahan char cell maine banaya to char ke charo cell apna apna khana khud digest karenge and usse nutrient khud hi lenge so what this cell will do this cell inside its uh, cell only they will release their enzyme and this enzyme will then go and act on the food for its digestion and absorption of its material yahan pe bhi wahi hoga this enzyme will be released inside the cell and it will get digested like this so this is what this is food this is enzyme and this is what cell so ek cell ke andar within a cell food digestion and food absorption is going on that is why it is what intracellular okay now extracellular what is extracellular take it like as stomach of humans okay and this is what food particle inside the stomach of human now here what happens these are cells specialized cells which are lining the stomach ab ye khana is cell ke andar nahi jayega it will not go inside the cell what will happen this cell will release its enzyme outside and it will be released here in the stomach and this Ma? enzyme yes so sana i was explaining about this what extra cellular so ye cell kya karenge this cell will release its enzyme outside their body and now yeah. these enzymes will act on the food material okay and then this food material or food will get digested or absorbed inside ma'am not body. able to hear you ma'am now uh, have you understood sana no ma'am disturbing ho raha tha okay so intracellular samajh mein aaya yes ma'am okay so face here okay so ye food material hai inside the stomach this is what this is our stomach rough diagram soch lena this is a stomach these are cells and this is what food particles so what does this uh, ye jo food particle hai this is relying or is staying in the stomach area this food is not going inside every cell instead of it what will happen each cell will release their enzyme outside the cell yani ki outside their body theek ab jab ye enzyme release ho gaye hain outside the cell aur ye enzyme then they will act on this food particle or is food particle pe act karke iska absorption and nutrient jo hai wo they will digest and absorb okay so ye cell ke bahar ho raha hai that is why it is extra cellular cellular means cell extra means outside ye enzyme release ka process aur food digestion ka process cell ke bahar ho raha hai that is why they are extra cellular aur yahan pe kya ho raha hai intra means inside and cellular means what again cell यहाँ पे क्या हो रहा है इंजाइम का रिलीज और फूड डाइजेशन का प्रोसेस बोथ आर अक्री इन साइड द सेल दैट इज वाई इट इज इंट्रा सेलर नाउ आई होप यू हैव अंडरस्टूड यस सर ना अंडरस्टूड और नॉट यस सर ओके इसको तुम अच्छे से पहले ही समझ लो डीपली बिकॉज एक्स्ट्रा सेलर इंट्रा सेलर इज गोइंग टू कम इन मेनी फाइलम्स तो यू हैव टू रिमेम्बर इट ओके in the phylum uh, porifera you have seen in the phylum coelenterata you have seen and now in the phylum dinopora also intracellular and extracellular digestion is seen so you have to remember ki what is intra and what is extracellular now circulation jaise uh, coelenterata mein circulation absent tha yahan pe bhi circulatory system will be absent so circulatory system is absent now in the excretion excretion will be done what by general body surface but excretory system will be absent excretory system is absent but excretion will be done by 
general body surface okay next point is what nervous system so nervous system for the first time has been developed where in the phylum coelenterata now tenophora will be also having what nervous system which will be diffuse type diffuse type diffuse type means what they will be having apolar neurons or nervous system apolar neurons and nervous system will be like agar ye body hai tenophora ko to ye diffuse rahega charo taraf phaila hua rahega and not in a proper way okay so that is why we say nervous system is diffuse type now sensory system sensory system they will be having what tentacles and they will be having a stratocyst as same in the coelenterata so they will be having tentacles and tentacles and they will be having a stratocyst a stratocyst are used for what balancing balancing of their body and tentacles kis liye hota hai for their protection and for catching and covering of their body catching the prey covering the body okay and stratocyst are used for balancing now how will they reproduce so here a slight difference will be there coelenterata is unisexual but there here tenophora will be what they are bisexual they will be bisexual means male and female organism uh, male and female gametes are present in the same organism and they will show only sexual reproduction no asexual form of reproduction is seen next is fertilization jab sirf sexual reproduction hai to fertilization kya ho jayega external after their uh, fusion and formation the eggs will be released in the aquatic environment so fertilization is external development will be indirect jab bhi fertilization external hoga development indirect hoga now example only two example you have to remember out of these two only one mostly asked which is pleurobrachia okay pleuro brachia and this pleurobrachia is commonly okay. let me write for example example is pleurobrachia commonly known as c gooseberry and tino plena mostly this has been asked not about this tino plena so pleurobrachia you have to remember from this phylum any doubt from this slide or this topic this is very small phylum that is why i am able to finish in a shorter period of time any doubts sana faika about this phylum again i am saying it is very similar to the phylum coelenterata so dono mein se koi ek phylum pad lo matlab dono hi samajh lo cover ho gaya now we will see the slide what is phylum tenophora phylum tenophora teen means com and force means bearing so com bearing or complex or com jellies or sea walnuts they are exclusively marine important point to exclusively marine because abhi tak humne dekha fresh water aur marine dono the but they are totally marine the term tenophora was coined by george cuvier not at all important never has been asked it includes about about 50 species so it is very a small phylum okay sirf 50 species hi hai next is what their features so habit and habitat exclusively marine forms ke hote hain and they are found solitary pelagic or free swimming now solitary means they can be found alone alone then free swimming means they are not fixed not fixed pelagic means group okay solitary or colonial to isme bhi wahi cheez hai jaise ki tenophora mein tha are sorry coelenterata mein uh, they can be seen solitary or colonial or free swimming so yahan pe bhi kya hai they are free swimming totally free swimming and they are solitary also they are in a group also next is body organization they are diploblastic acylomate with tissue grade of organization see germ layer diploblastic hai coelom mein acylomate hai and level of organization tissue grade body soft delicate transparent and gelatinous like jellyfish without segmentation so segmentation is also absent body symmetry bi radially symmetrical or radially symmetrical the arrangement of comb plates give the appearance of radial symmetry that in tacus and branching of gastrovascular canal show bilateral symmetry so agar tum inke tentacles and branching of gastrovascular cavity dekhoge to bilateral symmetry dikhegi and mostly they are biradial symmetrical and if you are seeing the arrangement of complete then they will be radially symmetrical so you have to remember all in all ki they are radially symmetrical okay digestive system both extracellular and intracellular hain 
एंड स्केलेटल सिस्टम सर्कुलेटरी सिस्टम रेस्पिरेटरी एक्सिटरी सिस्टम सब क्या है एबसेंट है और ये सब किसके थ्रू होता है सर्कुलेटरी सिस्टम तो फुल्ली एबसेंट है रेस्पिरेशन एंड एक्सक्रीशन आर अकरिंग थ्रू जनरल बॉडी सर्फेस सी दीज प्रोसेस अकर्स थ्रू जनरल बॉडी सर्फेस नर्वस सिस्टम कंसिस्ट ऑफ नर्व सेल्स अबोरल सेंस ऑर्गन अबोरल मीन्स वाई डिफ्यूज टिश्यू टाइप कॉल्ड स्टेटोसिस्ट फॉर बैलेंसिंग ये सेंसरी सिस्टम है ओके रिप्रोडक्शन एंड डेवलपमेंट में दे आर हार्मोफ्रोडाइट और मोनोइशियस गोनेट्स आर इंडोडर्मल मीन्स फर्टिलाइजेशन इनका इन साइड होगा फर्टिलाइजेशन सॉरी फर्टिलाइजेशन इज जनरली एक्सटर्नल सॉरी गोनेट्स क्या है इनका इंडोडर्मल है मीन्स जो ओरिजिन है गोनेट्स का दे हैव बीन फॉर्म फ्रॉम इंडोडर्मल सेल्स ओके एंड ड्यू टू दिस इंडोडर्मल फॉर्मेशन गोनेट्स विल बी फॉर्म इन साइड देयर बॉडी and they will be released from their body into the aquatic environment then their fertilization will be external then development is indirect example mein pleurobrachia you have to remember and uh, tenoplan uh, tenophora no problem if you remember or not pleurobrachia is most important okay so i think this phylum is covered are you having any doubt you can ask sana and paika if any doubt is there you can ask no no ma'am okay. so uh, shall we move to the next phylum that is phylum platyhelminthes i have already written the basis or the basics which we have to study so again phylum platyhelminthes ki kyun naam diya gaya why not been given any other kind of names why they are called as platy ki is figure mein bhi dekho agar inke dorsal uh, dorso ventral side jo hote hain from their dorso ventral sides they are flattened मीन्स वो एकदम चिपके होते हैं फ्लैट वॉर्म्स मीन्स सरफेस पे वो स्टिक uh, रहते हैं और इसी वजह से दे आर कॉल्ड एस प्लेटी हेलमेंथिस हेयर ऑल्सो प्लेटी मीन्स वॉट फ्लैट हेलमेंथिस मीन्स वॉर्म्स सो दैट इज वाई कॉमन नेम क्या हो जाएगा फ्लैट वॉर्म्स एंड प्लेटी मीन्स वॉट हेयर दे विल बी फ्लैट एंड हेलमेंथिस मीन्स वॉर्म्स सो वाई दे आर बीन कॉल्ड एस फ्लैट वॉर्म्स बिकॉज फ्रॉम देर डॉल्सो वेंट्रल साइड they are flattened in their body yahan pe main likh de rahi hu dorso ventrally flattened and that is why they are called as what platyhelminthes now their general characteristic again what is their habit and habitat again yahan pe ek interesting uh, point hai for the first time they are terrestrial also earlier jo jitne bhi abhi humne padha all were aquatic forms none of them were terrestrial but here you can see terrestrial forms for the first time okay so they can be terrestrial terrestrial then they can be aquatic also at the same time aquatic then they are free living also and they are parasitic also parasitic and mostly they are found in parasitic environment okay mostly or uh, is parasitic environment may be most of them are what indo parasite most of them are indo parasite indo parasite means inside the body of living organisms they will be found mostly okay so they can be found terrestrial also they can be found in aquatic forms also they are free living forms also and they are parasitic and mostly we can see they are parasitic worms uh, forms like what tape worm like a fluke worm like sheep worm so many are there which are living inside the body of living organism that is why parasite may be wo log kya hai mostly indo parasite hote hain next is level of organization here level of organization will be what you tell me sana level of organization will be what in the three phylums we have seen uh, cellular level then tissue level now what will uh, what level will come here organ level Yes, organ level because अब जैसे जैसे बढ़ रहा है फाइलम तो देर विल बी एन अपग्रेडेशन सो ऑर्गन लेवल विल बी ऑर्गन लेवल ऑफ ऑर्गेनाइजेशन विल बी सी नेक्स्ट वॉट इज देयर जर्म लेयर अगेन दे विल बी वॉट ए सिलोमेट सॉरी इन द जर्म लेयर दे विल बी वॉट एवोल्यूशन पॉइंट ऑफ व्यू से दे विल बी ट्रिप्लो ब्लास्टिक इन द थ्री फाइलम वी हैव सीन कि वो सारे क्या थे डिप्लो ब्लास्टिक थे मीन्स टू जर्म लेयर प्रेजेंट है नाउ हेयर दे विल बी ट्रिप्लो ब्लास्टिक मीन्स दे विल बी हैविंग थ्री जर्म लेयर्स इन देम वॉट इज देयर सीलम दे आर ए सीलोमेट बॉडी प्लान विल बी वॉट दे ऑल्सो विल हैव ब्लाइंड बॉडी प्लान मीन्स ओनली वन ओपनिंग फॉर इंट्री एंड एक्सिट ऑफ सब्सटेंसेज सिमेट्री सिमेट्री विल बी सीन और नॉट 
यहाँ बॉडी फिगर से देख के बताओ सिमेट्री विल बी सीन और नॉट पाई का यू टेल मी वेदर देर विल बी सिमेट्री और नॉट नो ओके फ्रॉम द फिगर ऑल्सो यू कैन ओके ट्री so answer would be phylum platyel menthes for the first time they have uh, shown bilaterally symmetrical uh, symmetry now segmentation in their body do you see any segmentation from the figure we have studied three different type of segmentation sorry two type of segmentation was there so here which kind of uh, segmentation you will found sana can you uh, say they are also on the basis of classification i have explained only one single organism is there which will be having pseudo metamerism or pseudo segmentation otherwise segmentation fully present hota hai so this tape worm tape worm is having what segmentation but they are having pseudo segmentation and pseudo segmentation means ki only external side of the body means body ke bahar ki taraf segmentation dikhai dega but there will be no segmentation inside their body so they are what pseudo segmented or pseudo segmentation is seen pseudo segmentation or you also can write pseudo metamerism merism okay another um, you can here only write in a sodium only this one is a single organism or a species which is having this pseudo segmentation feature except from this no other organism is having this segmentation pseudo segmentation so notochord is straight away you can write absent jab tak chord data nahi aayega notochord will be absent and absent and absent okay external features yeah extra features so these are parasites to so parasites होने के लिए फॉर बीइंग अ पैरासाइट यू मस्ट हैव सम अटैचमेंट या अटैचिंग फिगर्स या अटैचिंग पार्टिकल्स के हम इन देयर बॉडी सो दे आर हैविंग अटैचिंग या अटैचमेंट प्रॉपर्टी ऑफ अटैचमेंट हैविंग प्रॉपर्टी ऑफ अटैचमेंट अटैचमेंट और यू कैन कह लो स्टिक टू स्टिक व्हाई आर व्हाट दे आर हैविंग हुक्स एंड सकर्स ताकि वो जिस भी बॉडी में पैरासाइट के फॉर्म पे है वहां उससे क्या रहे हैं चिपके रहे हैं और उस बॉडी से बाइल बींग स्टिकिंग दे कैन सक द न्यूट्रिय ऑफ देयर बॉडी और बाय बॉडी ऑफ फ्रॉम देयर होस्ट तो जिस भी होस्ट बॉडी में ये पैरासाइट के फॉर्म में एग्जिस्ट करेंगे वहां से ये अपने हुक्स और सकर का यूज करके उस बॉडी का न्यूट्रिय फूड एंड एवरी दे आर एबल टू एब्जॉर्ब ओके so hooks can be seen uh, in tinea solium tinea is having uh, both it is having hooks also and it is having suckers also but some organism are having only hooks some are having only suckers like uh, if you see fasciola hepatica fasciola hepatica <laughs> okay right only fasciola only yeah. so fasciola is having only sucker and it doesn't have hooks in them okay and uh, due to the presence of these hooks and sucker their body means their outer body becomes thick or tegmented and due to this thick or tegmented body they cannot be easily destroyed aur in log ka kya ho jata hai jo body thick aur uh, uh, kya ho jata hai integmented ho jata hai ya tegmented ho jata hai due to this thickness and tegmented ye nutrient ko apne andar body ke andar absorb karne ke capable to rehte hain uh, sucker aur hooks ke through but agar jo host organism इनके अगेंस्ट फाइट करना चाहे वाई आर रिलीजिंग ऑफ देर इन साइंस एंड प्रोडक्ट सो क्या हो जाएगा ये थिक टेगमेंटेड बॉडी की वजह से दे विल बी सेफ सो दे आर हैविंग दे आर हैविंग थिक टेगमेंटेड टेगमेंटेड बॉडी ड्यू टू प्रेजेंस ऑफ हुक्स एंड सकर्स विच अलाउ देम टू वॉट देम टू बी सेफ and absorb nutrient nutrient okay so ye log kya karte hain apne uh, body wall se nutrient ko absorb kar lete hain via these hooks and sucker and 
ड्यू टू द प्रेजेंस ऑफ दिस हुक्स एंड सकर देयर बॉडी वॉल बिकम्स थिक एंड टेगमेंटेड जिसके वजह से ये लोग सेफ भी रहते हैं इनसाइड द बॉडी ऑफ होस्ट दे कैन नॉट बी इजीली डिस्ट्रॉयड नाउ अदर फिजियोलॉजी व्हाट आर देयर अदर फिजियोलॉजी लाइक डाइजेशन अब यहां पे सना विल टेल मी व्हाट विल बी देयर डाइजेशन वेदर इट विल बी इंट्रासेलुलर और इट विल बी एक्स्ट्रासेलुलर फ्रॉम दिस इवोल्यूशन पॉइंट ऑफ व्यू एक्स्ट्रासेलुलर यस वेरी गुड From evolution point of view, अभी तक पहले इंट्रा था फिर दोनों हुआ इंट्रा एंड एक्स्ट्रा नाउ डाइजेशन विल बी एक्स्ट्रा सेलुलर सो डाइजेस्टिव सिस्टम विल बी एबसेंट बट डाइजेशन विल अकर सॉरी एबसेंट आई एम सॉरी राइटिंग एबसेंट इट विल बी इनकम्प्लीट इनकम्प्लीट एंड डाइजेशन विल बी एक्स्ट्रा सेलुलर सेलुलर ओके नाउ रेस्पिरेशन सेम प्रोसेस रेस्पिरेटरी सिस्टम इज एबसेंट but respiration will occur through general body surface if you will write in any copy or any chart thick so you will follow the same sequences agar is sequence mein padhogi to this chapter will be the most easiest to remember general body surface now circulatory system it is absent here excretion important point mark is an important for the first time they will be having flame cells for excretion especially flame cells are what they are specialized cells which are developed in the phylum porifer uh, sorry platyhelminthes which will help in what uh, excretion and as well as in the organ cell development process 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 in the organ cell सो so, ये पैरासाइट हैं तो होस्ट की बॉडी इनकी बॉडी का टेम्परेचर जल्दी मैच नहीं होगा था दैट इज वाई दे आर हैविंग फ्लेम सेल्स इन देम फ्लेम सेल्स आर वॉट दीज आर स्पेशलाइज सेल्स विच आर फाउंड इन मेंबर्स ऑफ प्लेटिहेलमेंथेस एंड दे आर यूज फॉर वॉट दे आर यूज फॉर एक्सक्रीशन एज वेल एज ऑस्मो रेगुलेशन सो दिस इज एन इम्पॉर्टेंट पॉइंट टू मस्ट रिमेंबर अबाउट दिस फ्लेम सेल फ्लेम सेल्स आर फाउंड ओके दीज are specialized cells and cells of what platyhelminthes platyhelminthes which are used for excretion as well as osmo osmo regulation so osmo regulation is what maintenance of body temperature maintenance of body temperature so you have to remember about this okay now nervous system what is nervous system it is ladder like in them it is ladder like in them pehle kya tha diffuse type now ab thoda sa diffuse ho ke kya hua ladder like system like agar hum uh, figure bhi dekhe hain aap uh, iska figure of planaria if we see in the figure of planaria they are like this so inke andar kya hota hai ye now ganglions and somewhat nervous system will be like this okay and here nerves will be seen so they will be what transverse and ladder like see from this you can see ye ladder like figure mein dikh raha hai so this will be what transverse no transverse no so nervous system is what nervous system is present and it is ladder like okay now uh, reproduction reproduction will be reproduction will be both sexual and asexual because they are in the parasitic form so parasitic form mostly prefer what asexual mode of reproduction double double division matlab jaldi division karna hota hai to stay in the body of host so reproduction they are what mostly first of all we will write they are mostly what they are mostly bisexual but unisexual form is also seen mostly bisexual but unisexual form is Also seen. Kisme cystostoma. Remember this name, cystostoma. Cystostoma me unisexual form hota hai. Except uh, this, everyone will be having bisexual form. And reproduction by a what? Reproduction will be sexual and asexual both. Next, fertilization. Fertilization will be internal, internal. And here development is usually indirect time. In Direct kind. Okay. Now examples may you have to remember about this tenia solium. Examples may tenia solium, which is what tapeworm. 
Next is you have to remember about fasciola, fasciola hepatica, which is also called as liver fluke. From the figure also you can you will see liver fluke. It's a shape liver ke jaisa hota, that is why it is liver fluke. And uh, next is planaria. Planaria. Okay, planaria ka dusra naam hai dugesia. Now, important point yahan pe, tenia solium is also a parasite. Fasciola is also a parasite. Then planaria is what? It is free living. It is not a parasite. It is free living. And since this tapeworm is parasite, so ye kya hai? Digenic hai. They are digenic. Digenic means कि ये दो ऑर्गेनिज्म के बॉडी में पैरासाइट के फॉर्म में जाते हैं मींस दे विल बी हैविंग टू होस्ट फॉर देयर लाइफ डेवलपमेंट प्राइमरी होस्ट विल बी प्राइमरी होस्ट एंड सेकेंडरी होस्ट तो प्राइमरी होस्ट विल बी व्हाट ह्यूमंस ह्यूमंस के बॉडी में इजीली दे कैन बी सीन एंड सेकेंडरी होस्ट इज पिग ओके नेक्स्ट दिस लीवर फ्लूक इज ऑल्सो वॉट इट इज ऑल्सो डाइजेनिक दो होस्ट चाहिए अपने पैरासिटिक लाइफ को कम्प्लीट करने के लिए and uh, primary host here will be so here primary host will be sheep that is why inko bhai sheep liver fluke bhi bola jata hai and secondary host will be snail okay so this much you have to remember about this tenia and fasciola also because in some of the books of class 11th and 12 sorry 11th only you will see ki in dono ka pura pura life cycle diya hai tenia and fasciola ka so no need to remember that life cycle whole thing Only you have to remember कि इनका होस्ट कौन कौन सा है मीन्स प्राइमरी होस्ट आर वेन हु आर देयर प्राइमरी होस्ट एंड हु आर देयर सेकेंडरी होस्ट ओके सो यू हैव टू रिमेम्बर दीज टू पॉइंट अबाउट दैन नाउ क्विकली कमिंग टू द स्लाइड आई थिंक टाइम इज ऑलरेडी बीन डन सो वॉट इज द स्लाइड सेंग वी कैन से फाइलम प्लेटिन फील दे आर फ्लैट वर्म्स दे इंक्लूड ग्रुप ऑर्गेनिजम इंक्लूड फर्स्ट सिंपलेस ट्रिप्लोब्लास्टिक ग्रुप ऑफ एनिमल्स ओके Gigan boar coined the term platyl menthi is not at all important. It includes about how many species they have leaf-like or ribbon-like body. Okay, general body surface. Me majority forms are parasite like tapeworms, liver fluke, blood flukes, etc. And free-living forms like planarians. Hooks and suckers are present in parasitic forms due to attachment. Ke liye. Symmetry body is bilaterally symmetrical with definite orientation like anterior and posterior end. Cephalization primitive cephalization is present in free-living platyworm. Then germ layer, they are triploblastic. Body cavity is acylate. Space between the body wall and is filled by characteristic connective tissue called parenchyma or mesenchyma. So, why these are mesoglia? So, filled होता है. Body organization, they show organ system या organ grade of organization. Now, digestive system simple, incomplete, and only one opening. Anus is absent. Like blind sac body plan is there, na? The represent uh, respiration occurs through general body surface, excretory system, flame cells, होते हैं, help in osmoregulation and excretion, circulatory and excretory system, uh, sorry, skeletal system are absent. Nervous system, it is ladder-like and consists of brain and two longitudinal nerve cord jointed at intervals by transverse commissures. जैसे figures में मैंने दिखाया ना कि वो ladder-like होते हैं, transverse commissures के through joint होते हैं. Now reproduction में they are hermaphrodite, monoecious or bisexual. then having both male and female reproductive system they includes one or more larval stages some can regenerate regenerate kon karta hai planaria planaria as having planaria high power of regeneration ye isko itna bhi agar iske body ko 1000 parts mein bhi cut kar doge to all 1000 parts will develop into 1000 planarias so it is having high power of regeneration okay now example mein planaria it is nocturnal then fasciola sheep liver fluke then tenia saginata it is leaf tapeworm what is tenia solium pope tapeworm only this much you have to remember and uh, if you want to remember you can remember this human liver fluke okay otherwise no need so i think this much for today's class we will keep up to here so we have covered till now two phylums uh, sorry four phylums so you have to remember the four phylums ka examples देर इज स्पेशल फीचर्स और यही सेगमेंटेशन में मतलब यही सीक्वेंस में अगर तुम पढ़ोगी तो इट विल बी वेरी इजी फॉर यू टू रिमेम्बर ओके डू यू हैव एनी डाउट सना एंड फायका इज देयर एनी डाउट ओके फायका इज देयर एनी डाउट ओके देन वी विल कीप द क्लास ऑफ फूल हियर टूडे बाय